Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm uh, honored to be here tonight to speak about the filmmaker I truly admire. For me as a writer and director, for the female writer and director, she has been a role model, the inspiration, and this extraordinary woman, this filmmaker, has a vast career behind her, over 50 films made in the last 60 years, and yet she remains one of the most inventive filmmakers alive. She has been a cinema groundbreaker and also a groundbreaker feminist. She studied an art at photography and um, entered the medium of cinema without any training. Uh, her first film, La Pointe Courte, was made in 1955. She has been called the mother of the new wave. Uh, she was virtually the lone female present among the boys club of uh, Trifot, Godard, Chabrol, René, uh, Romer. And it's true that her work predated theirs by several years. She went from La Nouvelle Vague uh, to social realism, to captivating cine essays, to the, to the documentaries where she placed herself as the subject in front of the camera. Let me mention the few of her films. 1961, Cleo from 5 to 7, a revolutionary character study set in a real time about a singer awaiting the results of biopsy. In 1965 came her first color film, The Provocative Happiness, about a young carpenter and his mistress before and after his wife's tragic death. This is the film that made me decide to become a director. In 1984, she created Vagabond, uh, the story of a young woman uh, who wanders through French wine country uh, one winter. Jacques de Nantes is a film she made about the life and death of her husband the film director Jacques Demy. The Gleaners and I, The Beaches of Agnes, uh, are documentaries notable for, for its fragmented and freeform nature, personal power, and originality. In the last year, she has expanded beyond the screen to the gallery and the museums. in the opposite way as Steve McQueen did. She became a visual artist creating a series of exhibitions to international acclaim, exploring memory and the passage of time. This makes her the youngest great artist in this room tonight. <laughs> she is with us tonight to receive the European Film Academy Lifetime Achievement Award. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Agnès Varda. Hello. Hello. Oh, I feel good that you sit. You know, it's a gift. I receive a gift. And it's interesting because it's not of other people. I was not nominated. I'm not beating other people. I feel so good to be alone. And then, it is true that I guess nobody would believe that 
I receive this because I'm a friend of Wim Wenders and a friend of Anishka Holland. Really, I think they gave it because of what I did. And I'm a little sorry about the lifetime achievement because I feel like he's saying, I'm achieved, it's finished. I couldn't call it lifetime accomplishment because I, I, I feel that I worked, what we say in French, good and loyal services to cinema over 60 years from La Pointe Court to now. And over those years, I really tried to do something with that cinema thing. And I've been accompanied and helped, so much help, from the first film in which very generously Philippe Noiret acted in it and Alain René did the editing. And over the years, I had good actors, good real person, wonderful assistant, intelligent director of photography, all these people, including my little company that I started in 54, Ciné Tamaris, and I'm glad that one of my accompagnateurs, the Ciné Tamaris, Stéphanie Stivik, Stéphanie Skandvik is in the room representing the people who work with me in that company. And I'm helped also by my children, Rosalie and Mathieu, who stand for me, push me, protect me. So it's, I wouldn't say it's easy because I've been fighting for money all my life. When they ask about, is it difficult to make film? Is it, no, no, just money, please money. It seems odd, you know, because I try to be an artist, but I spend more time looking for money than making films. That's the way it was. But I ended up making some shorts. I, I, tonight I was counting and I said, I think I made 17 short and 17 long lengths. So it's not that much. No, it's not a lot over 60 years. I had to wait a lot of time. Now, what I would notice is that it's very sweet to receive, that I was impressed when I saw all the nominees. I think there are not enough women in the nominees. I think more women should be chosen. Yes. And sometimes women don't dare, but I really know a lot of incredible directors, women directors, and women director of photography and women editors. So I'd like them to be more represented in that wonderful academy who is really pushing people and helping the people start with shorts, with first film. That's so important when you start to get awards. Not that it's not important for me. It's very important to be recognized, to be loved. I had a standing ovation. I feel ashamed to be there. I think they should, they should run and call all the people who have been with me, with me including the unknown people that I film in documentaries. They have been supporting me and they have been helping me to understand how the world is difficult and how maybe culture and art can has a meaning, maybe has a meaning in that middle, in the middle of the difficult life of so many people. So I don't want to be heavy, but I feel that we are lucky to work in cinema. We are lucky to have the opportunity to exchange point of view, talent, you know, way of expressing and Agnieszka and Wim, I mean, who protected me in that company, I would say, know that I feel honored and honestly modest to receive all that. So thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. Merci.